Okay, so uh, that's most of the things have been covered in my previous videos on how you handle uh, all the e invoice related stuff from your preparation to uh, sending of standard e invoice, consolidated e invoice, and self built e invoice. So, in this video, I would like to share on some other functions that AutoCAR provide, uh, which is uh, called submission status. So in the e-invoice menu, you can see this e-invoice submission status. And basically, this is a function for you to keep track or trace whichever records that you already submitted to LHDN. So for example, I inquiry the range, okay, self bill range, right? And uh, let's say I take all the status over here and I search. So you can get to see all the e-invoice record that I actually uh, send it up. Okay, uh, this one is because uh, this is none. I should untick this, all right? And you will see uh, none. Those that is not submitted also won't appear. If let's say you want to check for those that are not submitted, then you click on none. Okay, and of course, uh, you can view the records via portal. For example, this particular, I can highlight it and I click on this view records via portal. It will prompt to see the uh, validated uh, e invoice in your browser. Okay, so this is similar as you scan the QR code in the e invoice. Yeah, okay, so uh, these are some uh, things that you can make good use of over here. And let's say if there's any error, it will appear at the bottom part. And you can also right click and export to Excel if you need to do your own listing. So this is uh, additional functions that is provided by AutoCAL for you to keep track and trace of whichever records that you have submitted to LHDN.